How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So on this video, we're going to be going over common issues on a 2016 to 2021 Honda Civic. So if you're in consideration of possibly uh, purchasing one of these or buying out your lease or whatever the case may be, uh, this will definitely apply to you. So we'll start with uh, one of the issues that actually has a warranty extension and that is the AC condenser right over here. So the metal is real thin and it penetrates real easily just with road debris. So Honda has extended warranty, but it is uh, a big issue, especially in the summertime. We also have uh, a lot of rodent issue, um, particularly in this area right in here. And uh, they like uh, the, the cylinder number four and uh, the CMP sensor on the intake side for whatever reason, only on the 1.5 T's. If you have the 2.0, you have a cover and that sometimes they get the cylinder number four injector. Um, but it's pretty easy to distinguish. You have the turbo here on a 1.5 T and on the 2.0, uh, you have just a cat coming out of here, not this uh, crossover pipe or anything like that. Another thing we see uh, on the 1.5 T's again, the next two items will uh, be on the 1.5 T's only are injectors. We see them fail at a high fail rate. Typically people that use a uh, lower octane fuel and uh, those uh, are covered up to warranty up to certain mileage. After that, you're on your own. Head gasket as well. We've been seeing a lot of head gasket failures on all 1.5 T's, CRV, Accord, and the Civic. Uh, to be fair, the, the CRV uh, Accord seems to be the most common failed one, but we do see some on the Civics. I've done about four in comparison to the Accord, maybe about 15 or so, and three or four CRVs. So obviously, that's an issue because they seem to fail between 40 to 70,000 miles for whatever reason. And I think it's a combination of uh, weak head studs and uh, or weak head bolts, I should say, and um, low octane fuel causing some detonation, causing the head to lift. And then once that happens, you get some coolant seeping into the chamber and you get a cold start misfire. One easy, easy way to tell is if your coolant reservoir is low, which this car is not, um, and consuming it at a fast uh, rate, then uh, you probably have some premature uh, head gasket issues and typically it won't overheat. It'll just cause a cold start misfire. Obviously that's a big deal because that's gonna be a really expensive repair and uh, something definitely you should consider in the long run. If it does fail, I would definitely consider um, installing aftermarket head studs from ARP or something like that, not replacing it with Honda head bolts. But if you do replace a Honda head bolts, definitely use brand new ones. Do not reuse the ones you took out. Another thing we see, uh, this is mostly with uh, some curb shots or a light accidents and uh, people think it's nothing. There's a radar behind here and the radar either gets knocked off the bracket, the bracket bends or the bracket bends and the radiator support cracks. Now this radiator support is made out of plastic so it cracks real easily. So something to consider. If you see some scuff marks over here, it's real easy to uh, manipulate the system to get the light to clear temporarily. So uh, definitely have this checked out by somebody who knows what they're doing. Or if you own one already, just something to consider. Sometimes you think it's just a little fender bender but actually might've caused some damage to the radar and bracket behind here. So moving forward, this is gonna be the last item I talk about. And once again, some of you guys might experience all these, some of you guys might not experience any, and uh, maybe you guys experience some other issues. So if you do experience some other issue or you had an issue uh, with your Civic, then uh, definitely a comment down below and let me know what your uh, issue was. Obviously this is by design. So you have a cup holder here, you have a brake switch here. You can even see some sticky stuff here. Uh, so a lot of times you have a uh, taller coffee cup or a juice, whatever the case may be, some water, and it spills over and you don't think of it, uh, you know, initially of anything of it. And over time, this button starts to stick and then you get some codes and sometimes the car won't even go into park or, um, you know, the parking brake won't set or it won't come off, obviously making you uh, stuck somewhere and causing you to have a bad experience and uh, potentially having to get the car towed and whatnot. So that's definitely something c to consider. If you, uh, you're you buying a use, just give it a, a good wiggle. If it moves smoothly like this, then you're good to go. If it doesn't move smoothly and you see it retracting slowly, then um, switch is already on its way out. And if you are buying it, uh, you know, for yourself or you just have it already, then obviously just be aware, try to use a, a second cup holder, not the first one over here and just something to keep in mind. 
So once again, guys, that's the most common issues on these cars. Uh, not saying that you can't have another one or you're gonna have any of these issues at all, but definitely stuff that we see on a pretty frequent basis. So with that being said, guys, I'm gonna leave the video here. I'm gonna drop videos just like this, just about on every uh, Honda, uh, newer Honda. So if you definitely are having a, a Honda, you're gonna be purchasing soon or buying out your lease or whatever it may be, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more videos just like this one.